Right. I'm sure there's a reading of this story that makes it worthwhile. But honestly, on this Thursday evening, uh, in a, a hot summer where hay fever is uh, taking its toll and we are hardworking people and we graft, right now, this is... If, if that's not one of the worst episodes of Doctor Who I've ever seen, I'd be surprised. It was just words. It was just Nonsense. this stream of absolute bobbins Nonsense. going on and on and on. And then you'd get the, somebody saying, of course, this, 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 this. And you're like, where did that, where did any of this come from? Yeah, and I've got a good, good angel on this side and a devil on this side. Type thing. It's just like, what? And there's just... Who even are you? There's no lead-up to any of this. Yeah. There's no... I mean, look... I defended this story. You did. And how do you feel about that now? Wrong. Doctor Who sometimes... And it's sometimes clumsy. Bidmead does this a lot, right? And I know we've passed that bit now, but it'll set something up thematically. Oh, recursion's a very powerful mathematical concept. Then two episodes later, we've rocked up in Castrovalva. Oh, entropy, that's a thing. Oh, Legopolis, right? And that and that's blunt. I've always thought it's a blunt thing, but it, 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 it it's solid, okay? That's fine. Here's a concept. Oh, look, the story plays into this concept. This is just nonsense. Oh, you, with nothing, like, this is that old adage, adage of show, not tell, yeah? This is just, you know, burble. Not, this is just, like, ah, uh, I can't even begin to express how I'm tr I was trying so hard in the opening parts of this episode to give a toss to really want to like this because you know I'm sitting there thinking what do I like about this I quite like the um the uh, the pilot and these co-pilots right I, I, I quite like the pilot yeah I think they're okay and then I think you know this could be a little crew I can get behind this and then everybody Flipping, what is it with going into the TARDIS these days? Oh, no, it's a bit Every booger goes into the TARDIS. Oh, just, oh look, there's a... Oh, right, off we go. What is the fun of the TARDIS if everybody goes in it? And the master going into the TARDIS should be... Question. Please, please hear me. People going into the TARDIS, is that particularly around, like, one particular writer that does that, or...? It's this era. But is that one well, I mean, if we were to speculate, could we say that Soward, the new script editor, is facilitating it happening? Because it's on his watch. Mm -hmm. um, the master going into the TARDIS should be, you know, a once in a decade event, shouldn't it? Really? Should be, you know, the master in the Doctor's TARDIS, that should freak us out. It is just commonplace in this. Honestly, some of the... I mean, I'm trying to work with Tegan and Nissa here, but... They spend a good four-fifths of the episode unconscious. And when they wake up, they're just like, oh, I've got a headache. Oh, we've got to fight off this thing. And Nissa surely was getting those sort of communications about stuff because she's got some special sensitivity. Yeah. Whatever. And she's like, oh, I'm going to absorb all the knowledge and then die. And then how can the man just do it? Oh. Like, if he could do it, why didn't he do it before? So this professor steps into that, like, oh. we have seen many a time the Doctor sort of tacitly allowing a human to sacrifice themselves. I've never seen it be so limply delivered, so blatant that the Doctor's like, yeah, I'd rather you do it than Nyssa. Oh, don't do that, Professor. It will kill you. Oh, it does nothing for Davison's Doctor. I mean, I didn't like that character. I think it was a right knob end, but that's not the point. This is this is the worst Doctor Who story since ages. It's worse than every Tom Baker story, even Underworld. You do love, love a sweeping statement. Yep, it's worse than. The Time Monster, because at least the Time Monster had the Brigadier in and that, and that aw awesome bit where Benton was naked and the Brigadier looked really upset. <laughs> it was really good. You see, I'm laughing. Great affection there. 
this is just abs this is appalling. I'm embarrassed that my wife watches this with me. I'm embarrassed. Embarrassed. <laughs>